Hello, this is Bern, and if you'd like to learn how to avoid one of the most destructive love myths out and about today, well, stick around because I will show you how to do just that on my episode today. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life TV.com. Today is another edition of Get the Love You Crave, and what I'm going to be sharing with you is how to avoid one of the most destructive love myths that are out and about in the world today. And here's how it came about. I shared something on social media, Facebook specifically, uh, as I often do, and somebody who doesn't know me, doesn't know my work really, and I can't blame her for thinking this way, it's just what she knows, right? Uh, I shared something about a blueprint of finding your soulmate in nine days or less, and uh, what she wrote is, this is bullshit. How the hell can you say such a lie? And uh, you should just wait for destiny to bring you love. You should not have to do anything to get love. Destiny should bring you love. And I started thinking that uh, there's so many women in the world today who may not 100% buy into this bullshit theory, but partially buy into this bullshit theory and it's equally destructive. <laughs> so I'm gonna give you some examples so that you don't just buy it from me, so that he, part of you understands if this makes sense or not. Let's say that you wanted to start a business and that you didn't you weren't born in a home where your parents were entrepreneurs and you didn't have any cousins or uncles or close friends who were massively successful. You know some people who have like a business here and there, uh, but they're not really successful in the way that you want to become successful. How incredibly absurd would, you be, would it be for you to develop a goal like I want to create a million dollar business or a three million dollar business or a ten million dollar business for that matter per year. And if a friend asks you, how the fuck do you plan to make that million dollars? And you say, well, Destiny should hand it to me. <laughs> it would be absurd and you probably don't know anyone who has the psychology who would actually tell you that to your face, right? They might think that, but they wouldn't just rationally say that because everybody would think they're crazy. But give you a different example. Let's say that you are 300 pounds overweight and you recognize that it's not just a look thing, but your health is going to be significantly impacted unless you take some massive action. And somebody asks you, okay, so you've decided you want to drop 300 pounds, how on earth are you going to do it? And you say, well, I, I'm not going to do it. Destiny is going to do it for me. Destiny is going to hand me that weight loss. Destiny is going to hand me that change in my life, that health. You would think that person's gone insane, right? Because what does it take? If you want to drop the weight, you have to wake up early in the morning perhaps to exercise. You have to eat significantly different. You may have to take some tests or supplements. You might have, there's multiple series of things you would have to step into and do that are uncomfortable and painful as fuck perhaps but not as uncomfortable as dying from a heart attack. So if you, and you can, I could give you 10 more examples like this, and there's probably not an, any other area of your life where you're, you would just wait for destiny to hand you the result. So why on earth would you ever think that love is any different? Why on earth would you wait for destiny to hand you love and think that you don't have to do anything to make it happen? It's complete and utter bullshit. Now, here's what I'm not advocating. I'm not asking for you to take action in the regular way that you would in business where you say, well, I'm going to ask a guy out, I'm going to pursue him, or if he hasn't called me, I'm going to be just uh, suggestive in a text or a message that, have you forgotten about me? That's the worst thing you can do and that will lower your value significantly. So I'm not asking you to take action in that masculine way. But to think that there's no action on your part is just, a, just an illusion because there's a stance you need to have, right? There's a way of loving yourself. There's a way of admiring who you really are. There's beliefs that you may have to get rid of. There's stories that you may be caught, in, caught up in that are preventing you from really expressing and opening your heart. There might be too much masculine energy in your body or in your way of acting, which is attracting weaker guys. There's so many things that could be going on that unless you take some action or massive action, it's just not going to happen or you're going to get a painful result, right? It's like the guy who wants the amazing business and manages to get just this, this small thing. You might get just a guy who doesn't do it for you. So my invitation for you right now is if any part of you has bought into the bullshit belief that destiny will bring you love and you shouldn't do anything about it, then I'm asking you and urging you to change it. <laughs> I'm asking you to treat love as you would any other area of your life that you find important. And if love is the most important thing you want in life, then all the more reason why you should treat it with reverence, respect, and discipline, right? Study it. Become a fucking master at it. <laughs> uh, understand it. 
If, I mean, if you need to take coaching, take coaching. If you need to read books, read books. If you need to uh, interact with a therapist, interact with whatever it is that you need to do, go for it 100% because the, this is not something you're born with. The skills to attract someone and to sustain a lifelong relationship, nobody's born with those skills. So if you wouldn't wait to get those skills by chance for any other of your life, don't make that mistake in love. If you think this is helpful, useful, insightful in some way, I'm gonna ask you to do three things. Number one, click like on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel. Number three, on the description of this video or on a link somewhere on your screen here, you're gonna find a link to subscribe to a three-part webinar that will share with you how to find your soulmate in 90 days or less. Very powerful stuff and it's absolutely free. If you have any questions for me, place a comment on any of my videos or on this one right now and I'll reply to you personally or create a video just for you. Thank you.